Welcome to Australian Earth Science Education. In this experiment, we are going to explore different ways of preventing erosion. You will need three foil pans or takeaway containers, soil, mulch, some plants with intact root systems, and gloves. Microbes in soil may cause disease, so wear gloves for the experiment and thoroughly wash your hands afterwards. Make your experimental pans by filling them with soil. The one that will be pure soil should be filled to the rim. The pan with mulch on top is filled a bit lower and then mulch is added on top. I've used hardwood mulch from my garden. Make sure to allow room for the roots of the plants in the third pan. I dug up some weeds for use in the experiment, but you could grow grass seeds in the pan if you wanted to set it up a week or two ahead of time. Set up your experiment outside. You will need a tarp or plastic sheet so that you can see the runoff. I used an old plastic tablecloth. A board will allow you to elevate all pans at the same angle. A full watering can provides our erosive force. What are the variables in this experiment? The independent variable is the soil cover. This is the factor we are investigating. The dependent variable is what we observe. It may be qualitative, something we describe in words, or quantitative, something we measure with numbers. In this experiment, we will make qualitative observations of the soil washed away. There are also controlled variables, things that we keep the same for a fair test. These include the size and angle of the pan and the type of soil. What is our hypothesis for this experiment? A good hypothesis states the relationship between the independent variable, soil cover for this experiment, and the dependent variable, the soil washed away. Carry out the experiment by applying the water equally to all pans. We're going to simulate a drenching rain. Heavy rain can cause severe soil loss and decrease productivity of land. Watch the runoff from each tray. What do you observe? Let's take a closer look at our pans after the experiment. What changes can you see in the pan that had no soil cover? Do you see the same sort of changes in the pan with mulch? Has the soil in the vegetated pan changed? Based upon the results of this experiment, what can you conclude about preventing erosion? Water is a major cause of erosion. Over time, it can carve out dramatic landscapes like the Grand Canyon. Wind is also an erosive force. Sand dunes are a typical example of wind erosion. Tracking by vehicles and animals can cause erosion, especially in fragile landscapes. Can you think of anything else that might cause erosion?